algorithms. Every one of us might have heard this word before. As per Wikipedia, algorithm is defined as a set of rules that precisely defines a sequence of operation. So, algorithm is nothing but a set of instructions, instructions that will help us to solve a problem or perform a task or devise a solution. Let's consider an analogy to understand this thing better. Consider a boy called as John and his mom is asking him to buy some vegetables from the shop. So, here is the algorithm that John must follow to, in order to perform the task. Step number one, he need to get the list of vegetables. Step number two, visit the shop. Step number three, pick the vegetables from the list. Step number four, hand over the money to vendor. Step number four, come back home. This, from, from this you can see that the algorithm is nothing but a breakdown of instructions that will help people to perform the task. This is not only the breakdown of instructions, this instructions makes logic and helps user to make or to perform a task in much simpler way. That's what algorithm is all about in general. In terms of computation, algorithm is used to solve problems with a given data. Let's consider an example where we need to add two variables A and B. <clears throat> algorithm of this addition will go something like this. Step 1. You need to read the value of A. Step 2. You need to read the value of B. Step 3. Add the value of A and B. Step 4. Display the data or store the data. If you observe the above steps of these, this algorithm, you will notice that the entire operation of addition is broken down into simple logical steps. Programmers will use these logical steps to code and as a result it will give them it will give them the ability to resolve this problem or perform the task in much efficient manner. So that's the whole point of using algorithm in in programming and computation. So there are plenty of algorithms available and from it ranges from simple to complex uh, depends upon the type of task it's going to be used. The important thing to remember here is algorithm is independent of the programming languages used by the programmers. As I said before, algorithm is a breakdown of uh, operation or a task which you are going to perform which gives logical and sequential steps. This logical steps is used by the programmers and to develop their software or their code. So, irrespective of the programming languages they use, algorithm remains same and it is independent of the programming languages. We are reaping the benefits of algorithms daily without our knowledge. Let's consider an example where Google Maps. This will be a best example where we use Google Maps to travel from places daily. So if we choose a destination and from our location, Google algorithm will automatically run and find the best route that we can safely travel. So this is a function of algorithm. Another fine example would be games. We are playing a lot of games and their algorithm will uh, constantly understand understand the player's moves and it will uh, automatically adjust itself to provide rich gaming experience. There are a lot of examples of algorithm and it's fair to say that every program we use is using algorithm to uh, provide efficient results. Now we know what is an algorithm. Let's see how programmers will choose their algorithm that fits their name. There are several important factors a programmer will look into an, in, in an algorithm to, before choosing it. We are going to see two most important factors among it. First one is correctness. An algorithm should always produce correct desired result in all circumstances. Second one is efficiency. Efficiency of an algorithm is deter determined by different factors such as uh, speed, speed of execution, or uh, the space it occupies in the machine, or its complexity levels. Considering the correctness and efficiency of an algorithm, a programmer will choose which algorithm will suit it. Me. There are circumstances where you need to write your own device, write or device your own algorithm that will do the task for you. Let's get back to John's analogy to understand this scenario better. Consider John has left the house to purchase vegetables. He sees four different routes before him that can lead him to the vegetable shop. Now he has to choose 
which route he is going to take. Now, out of the four routes, one route is very is of very less distance comparing to the others. So, in this case, John is going to choose this route since it is correct and it will be efficient since it is of least distance. Similarly, pro when choosing an algorithm, programmers will look into the correctness and efficiency of different algorithms and choose the one that will fit their need. And that's how an algorithm is chosen. This is the very first video of this algorithm web series where we will get to see various algorithms in detail. Hope you learned something out of this video. Leave a like button if you did. Subscribe and share to your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.